The novel SARS-CoV-2, responsible for the COVID-19 pandemic, is an enveloped single-stranded and positive RNA virus belonging to the family coronaviridae. 16 non-structural proteins and 4 main structural proteins shape the virus. The envelope protein, the membrane protein, the nucleocapsid and the spike protein. The spike protein is the main performer and the mechanism of cell binding. One homotrimeric spike as a glycoprotein comprises a hydrophilic extracellular N-terminal and a small hydrophobic intracellular C-terminal. The N-terminal of the spike is associated with the S1 subunit that is responsible for the binding to the ACE2 receptor. Two components make up the S1 subunit, the N-terminal and an RBD that is specifically encoded to recognize the ACE2 receptors. The C-terminal of the spike comprises the S2 subunit, responsible for mediating membrane fusion, which is composed of a hydrophobic fusion peptide, heptapeptide repeat sequence 1 and 2, a transmembrane domain, and a cytoplasmic tail. Prior to the binding process, the spike needs to be cleaved by specialized human proteases that will activate the protein. This activation involves the transition from a fusion incompetent state of the spike called the pre-fusion native state to a fusion incompetent state called the pre-fusion metastable state. As the S1-S2 site is situated at the junction between the S1-RBD and the S2-FB, the cleavage results in a dissociation of S1-RBD from the rest of the spike protein, forming a pre-fusion metastable state and that will bind to the N-terminal of the ACE2 receptor. The spike protein will dissociate, S1 will leave, while S2 will elongate in order to fuse with the proximal target membrane. The RBD constantly switches between a standing up position for receptor binding and a lying down position for immune evasion. In order to dock the viral membrane to the target, the fusion protein will undergo further conformational changes forming the pre-herpin intermediate state when the FP is inserted into the target membrane. The HR1 and 2 infoldings form a 6 helix bundle determining the two membranes to come together and fuse inducing a stable post-fusion state. The a pore is formed through which the genetic material of the virus is inserted into the target cell.